we are going to learn how to set up Bootstrap and use it in our HTML file. All right, so we've already downloaded and installed Bootstrap here, so let's do a couple things. Let's go ahead and we're going to create a new file, okay? And this one is going to be our HTML file. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and create our CSS file. Awesome, perfect. So now we've got some files in our project to work with. And to get our starter template that I want to use, um, let's go ahead and start with the template that Bootstrap provides for us. So go ahead and open up your browser. And again, we're just going to go to uh, the Bootstrap uh, website again. All right. And we're going to click on Bootstrap 4. And then this time, let's click on the documentation. And we're going to scroll down here. And I hate to copy and paste, but for the sake of time and for this example, we're going to go ahead and do it. So scroll down to where it says Starter Template. I'm going to do a Command C to copy this. And I'm going to head over to Brackets. And make sure you're in your uh, HTML file. And go ahead and paste that. Now, let's talk about exactly what's going on here. All right, so at the very top, we've got our doc type of HTML. All right, and we've set the language to English, and you can set the language to whatever works for you. Now, what's important to know is that you have to set the doc type to HTML, and you've got to set a language in it. If you don't, um, you're going to get some really funky uh, styling with Bootstrap. Okay, so make sure that you include uh, this here. Now, moving down, you can see that we got a couple of meta tags here. All right, and these are required. All right, so the char set, uh, we're setting this to grab the uh, Unicode standards, and the A will make this backwards compatible. And then you'll see the next meta tag here uh, is reference to our viewport. Okay, and because Bootstrap takes a mobile first uh, uh, preference here. Um, we're setting the viewpoint and we're taking it and setting it to the width of the device and then starting the initial scale to one, okay? And we need to do that for Bootstrap to work properly, uh, especially in a, a mobile state. All right, so let's move down here. Now you can see that we've got some Bootstrap CSS here. And if we come over here, you can see that it's grabbing the CDN, all right, that uh, content delivery network. It's grabbing this from Bootstrap's website, but we don't need it because we've already downloaded Bootstrap. So go ahead and start from the end here and come to the, delete that to the very end of the uh, reference uh, quotation tags. And then we wanna go ahead and delete everything inside of here. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and link the Bootstrap uh, styling that we have. All right, so if we open up the folder in the CSS, remember we've got these files in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in bootstrap uh, brackets, auto completes this for me. So I'm grabbing the folder, and then I'm going to dive into the CSS file. You can see we have the CSS and the JavaScript file. We want the CSS here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the grid CSS and the minified version of it, okay? And the reason we're grabbing the minified version of it is because when this loads in a web browser, the minified file is going to load faster. It's like compressed all the CSS for us. All right. And then go ahead and copy this. And there's another style sheet we want to include. We want Bootstrap's regular styling, right, for the rest of the elements. So we can actually delete all the way up to the CSS, put that forward slash again, and then I'm going to scroll down to the minified version of just the Bootstrap CSS. All right, cool. So we've got that, and we're going to go ahead and copy this one more time and paste it right below because remember, we've created our own style sheet. So go ahead and get rid of the entire Bootstrap stuff in here and go ahead and just grab your style sheet. All right. So remember, this is going to load uh, from top to bottom. So what we're saying here is we want to grab all of Bootstrap's styling for their grid system, for the rows and the columns. 
Then the browser is going to pick up and say, hey, we want to grab all of Bootstrap's styling for all the elements in our project here. And then it's going to grab our CSS file, which, because it's last, has the ability to overwrite uh, any of the classes we modify or change or add any of our custom classes that we've added to our page. All right, and then down here, remember we always put the scripts at the bottom of our page. And the first one you can see, it says jQuery first, then the tether, then the bootstrap JS. All right, so some of the components that bootstrap uses uh, uses jQuery behind the scenes. So we've gone ahead and we've injected our jQuery, okay? And then the uh, tether uh, file, this Ajax, what that does is it allows us, it helps position elements, give it like an exact uh, accurate positioning in our HTML page like the nav bars and the drop downs. So it's just going to help position those. And then the last one here, you can see it's grabbing the CDN for the bootstrap JavaScript. But again, we don't need this because we have downloaded it. So go ahead and grab the bootstrap folder. And this time, we're going to dive into the JavaScript and go ahead and grab the minified version of it so it loads faster. And we don't need hello world. OK. All right. I love it. That's it. So this is how you set up Bootstrap to uh, be used inside of your project. All right, that's a wrap. That was pretty easy. Uh, let's move on. Thank <laughs> you.